this is on, right? Speech on. Stop recording. Okay, great. Speech on. I'm gonna say if it's not on, I'm gonna blow a gasket. A gasket? A casket. What if I what that expression? If I'm gonna blow a gasket whatever a body part. Is it even a body why am I discussing body parts? This is creepy. Anyway, welcome back to another video and we are back with more baseball talk. Talking about it every day of the week because it is the best. I almost said the best sport in baseball. The best sport on the planet. I just totally messed that up. Moving on. Today, as you can tell by the time, we are talking about the Atlanta Braves of Atlanta. Like, like you have that Los Angeles Angel behind. Angel Hein? I'm tripping all over my word today. The Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, so you you got like like the Atlanta Braves of Atlanta. I I don't know. But the Atlanta Braves. Um so what do the Braves need to do in twenty twenty one? And we're talking about Marcel Ozuna. Okay. So I think that the Braves should run it back and just pay Marcel Ozuna. After it was officially announced that there will not be a a designated hitter in the National League in 2021 and going forward. Now, one thing to think about this is after 2021 season's over, the collective bargaining agreement or the CBA and Major League Baseball is up, and the players' union can say, hey, we want designated DH back, so 2022 it could be back. I don't know if that's a, if, if, if they even want that, but they can discuss it. And so, twenty twenty one, there will be no universal DH. So, uh, I mean, people are split on the universal DH. I see it as uh, growing up as a National League fan, like like growing up with my mom liking the Cardinals and then becoming a country fan myself. I've always been used to pitcher hitting, and then also. I guess I love Madison Bumgarner for the reason that he hits tanks. And then, I guess since it was so much outrage that, I mean, joy, I guess, that there was going to be one, I wanted to be in the minority. I'd be like, yeah, Universal DH sucks. Honestly, um, when I was watching the games in 2020, it was, I didn't even think about it, honestly. Could I would get caught with, like, okay, this is this batter, and then this batter, and this batter. And I never realized that the pitcher wasn't even in. Which I guess is a good thing in itself, and a bad thing, a good thing, because I didn't even realize that we're playing without a DH. But also, I uh, didn't realize, I mean, well, it made me realize how similar the leads were. And that's what I, the main thing I didn't want to happen. I didn't want that to be exactly the same and have some different to them. And you can be like, yeah, well, my shots in the American League and Ronald Cooney Jr. in the National League, totally different. Is it really? No. Uh, but uh, I thought that was one way. Maybe they maybe they do bring the Universal DH back. They can find a different way to tell, to, to have the lead seem somewhat different. So, you, you take that as what you will. Anyway, so back to my soldier. So, he was the brave Universal DH in the 2021 2021, but not in 2021 yet. Yep. Why'd I talk? In the 2020 season, and he, right, he looked absolutely phenomenal. He looked like back when he was on the Marlins, and then he went to the Cardinals, and uh, he went good for two years. I mean, was it 17 and 18? Or 18 and 19? I think it was 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there for 18, 19. And he did good. And then went to the Braves in 2020 and demolished baseball. What is it with the Braves turning people on one-year contracts into absolute studs? I mean, Josh Donaldson in 2019, Ozuna in 2020. Who are they going to sign to a one-year contract in 2021? And M- Matt Kemp? Is Matt, are, the Kemp, are the Kemps? Are the Braves going to sign Matt Kemp back and be like, okay, go hit 50? <laughs> and he goes hit 50. <laughs> I don't know anymore, but that'd be insane. I love Matt Kemp. So that's why I got him. Brantley, sign Michael Brantley. Uh, anyway, so they should sign Marcel Ozuna. Uh, even though there's not going to be a university age. I mean, 
He helps out the team. One, they cut Adam Duvall, so he would DFA for assignment. And if you look at the outfield, you have Ronald Quinn Jr. You have... What's his name? What is that kid's name? Not Garrett Crochet. That's the, that's the picture for the White Sox. Christian Pache. That's his name, Christian Pache. I'm pretty sure, or somewhere close. I know his first name, Christian. Yeah, I'm going with Christian Pache. The center fielder, and that's better than a Danny Echeverria. And so you sign Ozil and you put him in the left. Perfect, right? Well, I mean, his glove isn't great. But, I mean, if he's going to hit you, I don't know, 35 home runs, 40 doubles or something like that, and, I mean, you sort of, you, the bat would make up for any defensive errors he would make. And, like, we don't need him, we don't need him being out there, like, gold glove defense or anything. You have Acuna for that. I don't know how good Christian is in at outfield of catching but and we don't that's why he didn't left so we didn't have to play center didn't have to run as far and um he should be decent in the outfield i didn't play outfield in a year though since he was on the cardinals since he's been moving to dh for the brave and then you just look at the rest of the team you have you know the mvp Freddie freeman you have ozzy obvious you have dan b swanson and you have Johan Camargo. Okay, we don't talk about that. Uh, we have Travis Darno. We need to resign Mike Melanson. Mark Melanson, not Mike Melanson. We need to resign Mark Melanson. We need to. What if I we for them? Will Smith. We know, you guys. If he ta- if Will Smith go taken deep by Will Smith again, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a problem. And then the starters are just absolutely crazy. Charlie Morton, who they signed. They have Ian Anderson. They have Bryce Wilson. Mike Soroka is gonna be back. Match free. They're gonna look like Jesus Christ. Uh so the bridge rotation was fire. The infield was good. If they signed Marcel Zuna. That would just be great as well. And another reason why they should resign Ozuna is because the competition around them in the East is getting better. Now, I still have uh, had, I guess, plural, past tense. Why I say plural? That the um, Braves were going to win the East pretty handily. I mean, Marlin, nice with a run in 2020. Could they repeat? The Phillies are falling apart. The Nationals may are one piece, but the Mets yesterday, after that Carrasco and Lindor pickup, did that launch them immediately into the conversation? I mean, like, who, who did, like, so you have Match Free versus DeGrom, you take DeGrom. Second would be Carrasco, would he slide into the number two spot? I'm just going off of who the best is. And then, like, versus Soroka coming back from an injury. So you would take, what's it, yeah, Carrasco. And then who would be next? Syndergaard? Syndergaard, who's coming back from an injury, versus Ian Anderson? Would he be, so you take Anderson on that one. Bryce Wilson versus, like, David Peterson? Or maybe a Rick Porcello? I don't know. And then, like, you just go around the field. You got... James McCann and Travis Darnell, which isn't pretty evenly matched, but I give it to McCann, I guess. I mean, he can still grow more. He's getting better defensively. Darnell had the better bat, but in the long run, it looks like McCann, I think he's going to be the better player. Alonzo versus Freeman, you have to give it to Freeman. Even though Alonzo had the power, he did not really show it in 2020, although, and... Three minutes to bring an MVP, so automatic win there. Um, same thing with the ground. Third and Cy Young, automatic win there. Second base, it would be Robinson Cano, but I don't know who they're going to put there. McMill? Actually, yeah, that makes sense. You put Jeff McMill at second versus uh, Ozzy Alvey. I give it to McMill, the real deal. Jeff McMill, I love that guy. And then Lindor, 
and Dance Beach Monster Mandor, J.D. Davis versus Johan Camargo. Okay, you give it to J.D. Davis, obviously. Um, and then you have, what, what is it? You have Acuna, Christian Pache, and Ozuna for Jet to be, again, someone like, uh, a Conforto. Who else is in that outfield? Who else is in the outfield for the Mets? Conforto? I'm blanking on them. I am completely... You know, this isn't going to bother me too much. Who is the left fielder for the Mets? The left fielders for the Mets are Brandon Nimmo and Jeff McNeil. Who is a center fielder for the Mets? Guillermo Heredia is a center fielder for the Mets. I'm not mad. I forgot you. Who is a right fielder for the Mets? Michael Conforto is a right fielder. Who is a second baseman for the Mets? The second baseman for the Mets are Robinson Cano, yeah. Luis Guillorme, and Robel Garcia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Memo, Conforto, and that other guy. And you have McMill at second. Uh, I mean... Realistically, and then bullpen wise, what Seth Lugo, Edwin Diaz, Steven Matz versus uh, unsigned Mark Molas. I don't know if he's coming back. Sean Newcomb, is he in the bullpen now? Uh, I don't know anymore, but realistically, just looking at previous numbers, you got to go to the Mets, right? I mean, we'll see. And the Mets might not be done. You know, they're always in Todd's. Hey, we're going to get Springer. We're going to get Brantley. We're going to get Brad Hand. We're going to get Donald Trump to be the starting pitcher. Actually, no, that, that's not a good idea. Um, But, I mean, the, the Mets don't seem to be done. The Braves have not really done much. If anything, I believe, I, I mean, ch- signing... I forgot Charlie Morton. I I, apolog- I deeply apologize, Charlie Morton. I haven't signed a 36-something-year-old Charlie Morton. Also Cole Hamill, but he's also a free agent. Are they going to bring back Cole Hamill? I don't see it. Uh, but, I mean, I, the, 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 I mean, the Braves got to do something, man. They got to do something. Uh, they, have to, they have to go and make a big move. It's like... I'm, is, is it the Braid division to lose? I still think it is. The Mets, I think, automatically just put them in second with the talents of Rendor, Alonzo, Davis, Conforto, McMill, DeGrum, etc., etc. But, uh, I mean, the Braids, what I'm trying to say, they have to make a counter move to the Mets. Because, I mean, signing a 36 year old out of his prime, Shari Morton, does not compare to. The best shortstop in the entire MLB and in a, I don't want to say elite, a dang good all-star pitcher. Pitcher to pitcher, right now, obviously Carrasco is expected, could, could perform better than Morton. Morton has performed better than Carrasco, but also Morton has a good 10 years on him. Okay, maybe 8, 7. That's a bit of a stretch, but um, Lindor. I mean, it it the uh, the Mets resign him. Ten year extension. Uh, the Braves are in trouble. I mean, uh, what I said. So what I'm trying to say, they have to make a counter move and signing Marcelo Zuna. A could you even call it a counter move? Cause I mean, you would get a good bat. So like, you should take it straight up. You like. Pin the move so far. You have Ozuna and Morton versus Lindor and Carrasco. I mean, so Lindor and Ozuna. I mean, what would you take? Ozuna in twenty twenty had the better stick, but Lindor has shown that he can have thirty home runs and forty doubles. I know that because I've had so many one particular YouTuber shouting that so many goddamn times in my ears. I'm gonna scream, and uh. But Lindor had the awfully, not awfully, obviously better defense. I mean, Platinum Glove and Ozuna does not have that in left. 
and you get it from the best shortstop. And then pitcher to pitcher, Carrasco, Cookie, is um, I think gonna be better than Morton. Is Morton finally going to? I don't want to say digress, but not be as well. I mean, I don't know how much longer Morton can pitch. I mean, he was drafted by the Braves. That's how we're going back to the Braves. Maybe retire. Is this gonna be his last year? Is twenty twenty two gonna be his last year? How much more does Morton have left? I don't know, but the 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 Braves have to do something. On top of signing up my my stars, and I, they need to do something else. Do they go and get Eddie Rosario? Do they get Kyle Schwarber? Do they get um another pitcher to join? Do they even have the stuff to go get Trevor Bauer? Because that would put them assertively back at the top of the division, in my mind. But, I mean... What do you even do? What do you even do? Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. For some reason, I said the comments aren't turned on, even though I thought I turned them on. If okay, I'm, I'm not I scared of criticism, criticism, blah. It's just I want the comments on. I just don't know how I turned them on. But if I get, get them on and I click stay on permanently, I will totally do that, okay? So... I will see you guys in another video. Bye, guys. And just like in baseball, three strikes, I'm out.